Hi, I'm Nancy, and I'm here at the Maitland Public Library for Astronomy Week, so welcome. And today we're going to think about the sun and make a sundial. So when we think about astronomy, a lot of times the first thing that comes to mind are, are other planets and the stars, but our sun is a star. It's just the closest one to us. It's, it's our star. So because it's close to us, it's the one that gives us light. And the Earth rotates, and the Earth's rotation makes the sun appear to move through the sky during the day. And it's doing that every day, even if you can't see it, it might be cloudy or rainy and you can't see it, but it's up there and it's moving slowly through the sky, rising in the east and setting in the west every day, like clockwork. So we can use the shadows that that sun casts to help us tell time, make a sundial. If you think about it, you might want to try this at home. Just go outside in the morning, stand in a place, mark where you're standing and see where your shadow is. Have someone mark where your shadow is at that moment. Later on the same day, come out and stand in the exact same place and see where the shadow is then. It will have moved because the shadows move as the sun moves across the sky. I'm going to lower the light so we can see this and show you how this works. So here's an object. Here's the sun moving across the sky and you'll watch the shadow of this building, this block, move slowly as the sun is moving across the sky. And that's the principle of a sundial. Okay, we can turn the lights back on. Now, I actually looked on YouTube and some other sources to make sundials. And one of the things that showed up was this. And I have to tell you, this is not a sundial. This is basically a clock with a straw in the middle and it wouldn't work as a sundial. For this to work as a sundial, the sun would have to do crazy loops up in the sky, right above us, like circling around. And it doesn't do that. We know it just moves gradually across east to west. So this is not a sundial. The sundial that you're going to make actually works. And if you come to the library, you can pick up your packet. And your packet will include this printout sundial, which is based on our latitude here in central Florida. On the back, there's actually three extra lines drawn. Your sundial, a base for your sundial, a little triangular piece of cardboard to make the sundial stronger, and then a compass. And you use the compass to tell where north is, which is very important in using your sundial. So you'll get your supplies, and when you get this, you'll cut out on the outside of the sundial, so you get that. After your sundial is cut out, what we're going to use is this little cardboard thing to make it stronger. And we're going to glue it on the inside here. You'll see three lines and it's just going to glue on one side of those three lines. It's just all it's going to do is help the sundial stay upright. And I'm going to use some glue. Glue it in. So there it is. Once that's glued in, we want to make some folds along those three lines that we have. Just fold them down. This is going to help it bend each one of those folds. Sort of like you're doing origami. So now we've got our paper folding at those three folds and we've got our glued strength that are in there. And when we bring it back up, we're going to make that triangle stick up. See that? So it's gluing together like this. Dial will stick up. So we can do this by gluing the whole piece. Lots of glue all over. And then before we put it on the base, we'll glue this section together like that. Now we've got the glue on the sundial and I'm going to glue it on the base, line it up with the bottom and get everything very flat and pressed down firmly. There we go. The basics of our sundial. Now I decorated mine. I drew a sun, I wrote sundial, I did the squirrely lines. I'd suggest you do the same. It's pretty fun. But the one thing you do need 
is this little indicator that says which way is north. And when you've made your sundial like this, north is going to be straight up from the centerpiece. The centerpiece in a sundial is called a gnomon. It's a fancy word for this piece sticking up. So this gnomon has to be heading straight north. So I made a little indicator saying that's north. At this point, we can take it outside and see how it works. So in your packet, it includes a compass. And the way a compass works is the red dial is going to point to the north. And you move your compass so that the red dial matches up with the end for north. It needs to be flat there. And that way we'll know which way north is. So then we'll line up our sundial, the north with the sundial with the north with the compass. The more accurate you are, the more accurate the sundial will be. It's windy and not very sunny. Actually, there's a little bit of shadow coming out right now. Can you see the shadow? It's just a little bit. And it shows that it's uh, not quite 10 o'clock, just a little bit before 10 o'clock. Now, the red numbers here are because it's daylight savings time in Florida. When the sundial was, met, was made and printed out, it was meant for standard time. But when daylight savings time is here, we've got a different time. It's an hour later. So you've got to read the daylight saving time hour, 10, right before 10 o'clock. And if I look at my watch, it's uh, about quarter till 10. So that's pretty darn good. So have fun. Use your compass, find north, get your sundial out. It's only going to work on sunny days, of course. Um, but have fun and uh, enjoy it.